Hey, it's Lauren. Today I'm coming to you with my summer beauty essentials. There's been some new things I have picked up recently and just some sort of general switch up and focusing on in terms of me and beauty related stuff. This is definitely inspired by the assortment of these types of videos that are out there right now. There's some great ones, but I'm gonna show you uh, the, my stuff. Today. So when it comes to cleansing, I'm definitely more of like a hydrating style cream cleanser. I really like the cream cleanser from Pi and from Trilogy, but recently in the summer I've been feeling like super sort of grimy, so I have been gravitating to slightly more intense style cleansers, especially for my second cleanse. Now I hauled this, this is the Noids Sanskrit Cleanser, I hauled this a few months back and I was kind of using it here and there, not very often, but in the last few months since I've been feeling super grimy, I have been pulling this out more because it is more of an intense cleansing experience. It doesn't necessarily tingle, it's just sort of amplified if that makes any sense. It has a very interesting scent that I could see like a lot of people not get along with, but I've actually been enjoying its sort of break from the normal, very rosy or fruity smelling cleansers. This to me smells like when you're like at a fair or a concert and they have like those soft, warm, salted pretzels, this is what it smells like. And it is like a nice sort of yellow, creamy texture uh, and it's pH balance and it is not something that you use to remove makeup. It's not good at that. It is definitely a second cleanse. But yeah, this has kind of helped with the gunkiness that I have been experiencing lately. I'm always using antioxidant rich formulas, but definitely in the morning during the summer time, I try and definitely make sure I have something very rich and antioxidants on in my face, either if it's just like a very antioxidant rich formula, if it has a vitamin C, I want that added uh, benefit to my skin to help fight off the pollution esqueness that you get, especially out here in LA, as well as like that added sun protection that like vitamin C and antioxidants like help your skin have. So there's been like a few dudes that I've really been liking and using. You've seen this a bunch from me and just the world if you're like a skincare Instagram person. And that is Jordan Samuels Etois Face Oil. This has a bunch of vitamin C in it. I believe it has CoQ10. It has a bunch of very, very like amino acid rich, antioxidant rich oils. So this is something I definitely try and use in the morning. I find this to be a rather dense oil, so it's like the littlest bit is really all I need to get my whole face, but this has been super nice. And also an old favorite in the vitamin C sort of ring that I have been bringing back into the fold, and that is John Masters Skin Care Vitamin C Serum. I think I've mentioned this here and there. It was definitely in my like, accessibly priced uh, greenish beauty video. And this is a nice, decent, more than decent, this is a excellent vitamin C formula. You can get this at Whole Foods, you can get it on Derm Store, you can usually get it with a coupon or at a discount at either of those places. It has a very sort of citrusy scent and a very nice sort of thick consistency that spreads really well and I just really, really like this guy. It's got a lot of really awesome ingredients. It's got aloe and things like that. So it's rather hydrating and soothing at that. A newer um, dude that I will have already talked about in the video before this, or we'll be talking about more in the video after this, depending on which those things get out. But it is the Tatcha Violet Sea Radiance Mask. You've this is uh, something you might have also seen around. It's been making its way on the YouTube and it's just like a newer launch and it is a pricey mask. Uh, I got this when like, because I spend an exorbitant amount of money at Sephora, they like sent me like a $15 coupon recently and I was like, all right, I guess I'm gonna get that Tatcha mask after all. So 
this is now in my life and I love it. Um, when the that video that either already happened or is about to happen, I had been using this mask for um, several times and I talk about how I like it and I've used it even more since then. And this is lovely as a morning mask, like having your coffee. It is rich in vitamin C. It also has really mild AHAs, which help give a nice little bit of exfoliant. And I have definitely seen an improvement in the sort of like redness and marks that are left from post zits and things like that. I haven't necessarily seen any decrease in my dark spots yet, but I have definitely seen um, a brighter, slightly more even complexion in terms of uh, the marks left from acne. Anyways, I've really liked this. This has been something I've been gravitating towards this summer. It's probably an all year round as most of these things are, but this has been an essential for me lately. A few weeks, no, it was definitely more than a few weeks. It was like at least a month to two months ago. I picked up a, another bottle of Sunday Riley's Tidal. I purchased this around when it first came out, I think last summer. I think that's when it was released. And that was like my summer moisturizer. I really liked it. And uh, I haven't had it for a while and I, I, uh, I wanted it in my life again because most of the um, cream moisturizers I have are kind of rich and we're feeling a little bit too thick for this time of year. So this is a really nice light formula that you can definitely build up with using more, but just like a little like whip of it on the face is really nice. It's rather cooling and it smells like cucumbers, which I really enjoy. It has like this sort of like uplifting scent that's nice to use um, both that morning and at night. And it has um, a bunch of like nice antioxidants in it, uh, a lot of hydrators, and it has alpha R betaine in it, which really helps with uh, dark spots and general brightness. So that is nice to have into the mix as well. And it also, because it is so rather light, it really sits very nicely underneath makeup, which is something I need during this time of year because I am, I get hot and I get like, murky and gross. Now, of course, it cannot be a video about summer stuff without sunscreen. Y'all know I really like the Pharmacy Green Screen Daily Environmental Protector with SPF 30. This has gone with me all over the place. Over the last couple months, I took this to Alaska with me and this helped uh, keep me burn free when I was on a fishing boat for 10 hours. That's a story for another time. Uh, but this <laughs> has been a nice, great skin protector. It's uh, not only great for being out into the wilderness in terms of sun protection, but it has a lot of ingredients that help with antioxidants and environmental pollutants as well. So if you're in a smoggy, shitty uh, city like myself, this is really nice. And it has like the tiniest bit of white cast. I could see anybody with like a much deeper skin tone than me having uh, potentially an issue with that, but I haven't really noticed any white cast on me. Just like a little bit, but it just, it goes away as soon as I absorb it in. Oh, sorry, it is apparently so warm in my house, the AC kicked on, so hopefully you can still hear me. But the other SPF that I have really been loving is very much a luxurious product and that is the Demamule Exhale Daily Hydrating Nectar. Now Demamule um, is a brand that is out of the UK and there it is rated, I believe, SPF 30, but it is under review here in the States. So it can't market it itself as an SPF here, even though you can you can buy it here at like places like Credo, I think um, Detox Market and Anthropology also carry it. So it does have sun protection, even though it's not labeled as having sun protection here. But if you got, went out and bought it overseas, it would be. It's SPF 30 and it is a physical sunscreen and it has a lot of really beautiful ingredients in it that really also help with like UV protection as well as environmental aggressors. It also does have a little bit of a tint to it. So it definitely gives like a nice skin perfection 
perfecting ness to the face. It's not gonna cover anything up. You're still gonna see your face, but it just sort of gives a nice little wash uh, to the face. It also has this really nice, lovely, velvety feel on the skin after being applied that gives it almost like a nice, really beautiful primer-like feel that makeup just goes on awesome on top of it. And it's also super moisturizing and super hydrating. I don't necessarily feel like the need to use a moisturizer when I am planning on using this, just because this does really hydrate the skin quite well. And it just, it feels really nice on the skin. Like it feels like a luxury item, which it very, very much is a luxury item. One of the most pricey things I own, but luckily it is 1.7 ounces, which you know these other sunscreens usually are. Um, so it should be lasting me a while, um, but I definitely have been treasuring this beautiful product. There's been two mists I have been really enjoying lately. They are both of the sort of citrus variety. The first one is the Leilani Citrus Mist. This is a beautiful toner. It's the first ingredient's water, but then it's aloe juice, and then it has just like the most amazing neroli scent. It's really super intoxicating if you like citrus neroli scents you are gonna love this and it does have like witch hazel and some things like that that can make it a little bit more um i think maybe astringent is the word i want to use so it's not necessarily a super hydrating toner it's definitely more of just like a waking up and if anything sort of controlling toner this one is the vitamin wake up mist from pixie definitely a more economical choice this is an orange blossom scented toner it smells really good the only problem is sometimes the um spritzers on the pixie mists can get really kind of funky pretty quickly but other than that this is a lovely mist especially for this time of year it has a little bit of niacinamide in it so that is going to help with uh sort of oil sebum control now unfortunately i am prone to back acne and it definitely gets worse in the summer and it has been kind of shitty lately which is pretty annoying especially since i'm like i'm about to leave for vacation that is probably going to involve a swimsuit very soon so that sucks but one of the things that i use to help me there's an ice cream truck outside which is kind of quaint but that's the noise. Uh, but one thing that I have been using for a little over a year now is the Aven Clearance Cleansing Gel. Uh, this is uh, an unopened one. I have a gross one that is in my shower. You get quite a lot and it takes me a while to go through one of these because I only use it on my upper shoulder and my back just to sort of give that sebum oil control that it does it has like a nice light foam i don't use it on my face because i don't like like to often use anything foaming on my face and it is not something that i use all over my body because i feel like it's a little bit too drying to use on something like my legs but on the my back and like my upper body when uh, i feel a breakout coming on or if i have them this guy helps so yes definitely back acne washes are a staple for me during this time of year speaking of body related stuff i do self tan on occasion um i don't necessarily have a self tan that i love right now i am trying to use up the saint tropez self tan express before i buy anything new and this has like a lot left I do like that this is uh, an express one, so I can put it on, leave it on for an hour, and then wash it off, and that is enough tan for someone like me. If I leave it on any longer, I can look a little bit pumpkin-esque, but this is something that I have been using in the self-tan regards because I do get a little self-conscious about my pastiness in uh, shorts and bathing suits. But um, what I wanted to get at is when the tan is getting a little bit murky, I like to use scrubs. I have one of those, I believe it's a Japanese style washcloths that is, um, it's like plastic and you like kind of like scrub like that. I have one of those in my showers that I use, but when like 
fake tan is getting a little bit gross or when I'm just like feeling more gross. I just end up feeling more gross in the summer than normal. I like to use a more intense scrub and one that I have been really enjoying lately is this one that actually Willow Body sent me a while ago. This is their Black Coconut Body Scrub. This is a coffee ground based body scrub that has coconut oil in it as well as rosehip oil and some other hydrating oils. I definitely prefer coffee scrubs and sugar scrubs over salt scrubs. I find them to um, be a little stingy on me, but this has a really nice amount of grit and it smells like coffee, uh, which really kind of gets me moving in uh, the morning, which is really nice. Gives that added like boost to get going and it does a good job of exfoliating the body. Um, unfortunately, their website has been down for a while. I think they are reconstructing it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is nice. I've really been enjoying it. Thanks Willow for sending that my way. And lastly, body regards has been this sort of mixture I've been doing. I, uh, if my fake tan is looking a little funky or if I just want like, my skin to be a little bit more glowy, what I've been doing is I've been taking a glow highlighter and mixing it with my regular old boring lotion. I got this Marc Jacobs Dew Drop uh, free from Influencer a few months back and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna ever use this thing up before it goes bad. And then I also have this like liquid illuminating highlighter from L'Oreal that is like actually really intense and there's no way I'm ever gonna use it up. So um, depending if I wanted a more like icy look like this one or a more golden look like this one, I have been doing a squirt of that into my 365 body lotion, which I buy all the time, super cheap from Whole Foods, does a good job of moisturizing the skin. So I just do a pump of this with however much I want of this and put it on my body and it gives a nice uh, looking glow to the skin. So there's like a nice little random makeup skin hack. You don't have to go out and buy a uh, beautiful but expensive shimmery body oil or moisturizer. Now when it is super hot out, I don't want to fuss with like a lot of makeup, um, especially like thicker bases. I definitely stick to lighter bases, which honestly I could have made an entire video about. So I'm just sort of skipping those. Plus a lot of them that I probably would have recommended you've seen in recent videos like the Tiger Grass um, and then the Dr. Jart BB Cream and then the NAR Charlotte Gainsbourg, all nice light bases. But anyways, I'm just gonna more share sort of the makeup types I have been focusing on. Cheek-wise, I have really been loving this newer launch from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their blush trio in Pink Passion. And I kind of mix all of these today. I have this on my cheek going upward and then I have this dude uh, just sort of popped onto the cheek to like make it more dimensional and to come out. But all of these are beautiful, bright colors that you can build up uh, for a more intense blush look or just sort of sheer on the skin. Really beautiful formula. Anastasia does their powders well. And then um, in terms of bronzer, I have been gravitating towards this newer purchase I made. This is the Becca Bronzer in Capri Coast. This gives a nice sort of illuminated but not like shimmery or anything bronze look to the face that looks very natural and dimensional and quite pretty. I have really been liking this guy lately. And then something that encompasses both of those, but is like way cheaper, is this e.l.f. Uh, bronze blush quad. It has this really beautiful, bold, uh, pinky blush, and then this bronzer. And these are really interesting, like creamy, almost putty, style texture that you can really work in really well with your fingers as well as brushes or sponges. But this is just like a really nice, nice duo for the face for the summer. Really like this guy, been using it a bunch lately. And then in terms of lips, definitely been super into my bold or bolder lips lately. I have Bite Beauty's liquefied lipstick in Candied on my lips right now. I did a review swatch video of those 
not too long ago, um, pretty recently. And although I like them, and I think they are beautiful, really bold lips, uh, I have been really enjoying wearing both Candy, which is on my lips now, as well as Flambe. These are beautiful, but they are kind of a heavier formula. Uh, so on days where you get a little bit sweaty, they can get a little bit funky looking pretty quickly. So uh, on days I want something a little lighter, I have been really liking these Pixie lip tints. Um, this is the berry tint one and this one is the pink tint one. The glasses like are just okay, but the tints on these are amazing. This is like a, it looks like a burnt orange, but it's more of like a rich berry on the lips and this is a beautiful vibrant pink if you want something really light and easy on the lips that doesn't feel heavy or anything like that these are really nice and then you can just like dab a tiny bit of the gloss if you want something more or them to feel a little bit more hydrating my only fault with these is like the wand is like it's like almost like a weird paddle so it's it's a little bit hard to get them on like very easily you kind of have to work them on but i find that they stain the lips pretty nicely and as they wear down it uh still looks quite pretty but just less intense and then lastly um a couple of perfumes that i have been into lately as you can tell i have liked my citrus scents just in general but especially lately and so i have been spritzing on myself most recently has been the atelier cologne in orange sanguine i actually got one of these samples like spring of last year um when uh when um they had like that paris or french themed sephora kit um and this was in it and i fell in love with it this smells like fresh orange juice so this was a rewards recently and i picked it up Unfortunately, it's like leaking, which really sucks. Similar, but not like quite as um, uh, fresh orange juicy, definitely more on the orange blossom note, has been Melissa Flagg's Alani Perfume. This is a lovely citrus orange blossom uh, perfume that is like very whimsical, romantic, um, and sort of tropical-esque. I love the old style like perfume spritzer it's a really beautiful bottle and it's not like a crazy expensive perfume it's kind of like a mid-range perfume and it's just really lovely and now i i'm smelling like that right now and it's really nice Alrighty, uh that is all the stuff i wanted to share when i originally was gathering the things to share for this video i was like that's way too much freaking stuff so i tried to narrow it down even though it was still a lot of stuff but this has been the things that I have been liking in terms of summer related stuff lately and things I need, whatnots. You get the picture. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.